And uh, if we're on the ground, somehow I'm on top, he's on the bottom. Okay, so unless he was uh, perpendicular to me, here, like our spines perpendicular here, and he was completely over to this side. Believe it or not, I know this sounds funny, this is the best guillotine position. If he puts my head in here, that is number one. Right? That is number two. Right, and in the guard would almost be number three. If he loves guillotines, this would be his last option. But this is the most common time to be caught in a guillotine when you're in this guard. And it's the one where you can get, say, imagine a new guy comes along and he's a good athlete, he's watched UFC and he just sees your head down, you're not taking him seriously, he grabs the, the guillotine, gives it everything he's got. You need to know how to defend it, okay? So it's not just experience, guys. Sometimes it can just be the brand new guy, but you get a guillotine choke on you, all right? You can be a purple belt or a black belt or a white belt, but that trachea is that trachea, you know? Like, he can choke that. That I'm not any more superhuman than Peter, and Peter's not any more superhuman than Matthew, we're all the same. So when he chokes my neck, guys, like, I'm gonna have to go with it. And I'm gonna dive in. As soon as I feel, if he's got his hands together, I'm in, okay? So if he wraps one hand around, and I can grab it, I'm not in. And I can hold it with two hands and get out. Okay, that's fine. But if he gets his hands together quick, right? right which everyone who's good at guillotines will, Okay, my left hand has to do a big freestyle stroke, right? Like I'm swimming. A big freestyle stroke. I want to feel the outside of my delton tricep on his cheek, okay? Right here. And now I'm going to grab my hands together and I'm going to pin him down, okay? Now, it's really important to know that when I'm doing this, I am going to start trying to take my spine from being basically right over Peter. Right, so here's Peter's spine, here's my spine. I'm gonna start doing this. This is a couple of reasons. One, it's about to put a choke on him. Two, it's gonna help me pass his guard into a half guard and then hopefully side control. And three, it's gonna make sure that when I actually am getting choked, if his hands are tight, that it lets me turn my chin into his ribs. I want you to feel your chin and his ribs. Now, if you do this right, there's no choke on your neck, right? Because it's only one carotid artery. And when he when he goes like to crank it and feels your chin and his ribs, like that's rough. Okay? So this choke, if you do it right, so some of you guys, you, you won't be able to do the choke. It'll be tight, but it won't choke them. Experienced guys, I want you to feel the von flu choke, get a bit of feel in it. So one of my matches I had here um, with Johnny, Coach Johnny from out north. He, um, you know, like, I went for the takedown, he went for the guillotine, but this was my response. And it was that succession that led to the tap. So, this is really important. Now, if I didn't know that, that was a quick loss. Right, so it's really important to know this stuff. So your partner's gonna reach up and wrap you around with the left hand. I'm gonna swim my left hand over, grab my hands together and pin him down, and I'm gonna tripod up. Now, I wanna start moving this way, because that helps turn my chin in. I can turn my chin independent of my spine, but you can't do it very much. Like, uh, ask Brian, he's a chiropractor, mm -hmm. right? So try to walk your feet, it'll be a lot stronger than just using your neck. But do try to tuck that chin in. Now from here guys, my left front delt, right here, is gonna go straight down into his neck, okay? And I'm gonna squeeze and put weight, okay? Once I've got enough weight on him like this, if he has to tap, He's gonna have to just tap. If you can't do it with your hand, do it verbally or with your foot, okay? But then what I want you guys to do is eventually, if you just keep that pressure on, he'll open his legs to try to push you away. And you're gonna step over the way that we're turning. We're gonna, we, we want it, this guy tried to choke us. We're not just gonna defend. We're gonna choke him, we're gonna pass his guy, okay? So he grabs my neck. First things first guys, left hand, freestyle stroke, grab your hands together and stack them up. He can hold your closed gaze, fine. Then eventually, as I come around here and I'm putting lots of weight through his neck, he starts opening up his legs and when he does, I'm gonna step my left leg out. Once I've done that, I'm now gonna keep putting weight on. Look, I can go around further now, further. And then when I feel his legs let go of mine, I'm gonna come out completely. And then from here, guys, I'm in side control. I can keep up with the choke, move to head and arm chokes, move to mount, kimuras, anything I want. Okay, so let's have a look again. So I'm here. Peter's gonna smash that guillotine real quick. 
and I'm going to have to get my hands in place quick. And now I stack him up. As I walk around, as soon as I feel his legs undo, I do a big step over. And then I walk around further. And then when I feel him let go of my leg, I step it out, and here I am inside control. All right, so I could still go for the choke if I felt it. If I felt him gurgling, I'd go for the choke. But if I felt I didn't have it, and maybe I had too much pressure on his jaw, I would let that thing go and just be happy that I just passed the guard and survived a submission. Okay, so if you don't get everything, don't worry about it. All right, but it's very easy to get. And I find if you, if, when they let go of the guillotine, don't let that arm rejoin the pack. Okay, so if Peter's here and he's got my neck just from here and I'm here inside control guys, if I can't get the Von Flu choke, never let this arm rejoin the pack. Okay, so I'd bring this arm over and I'd bring my head out so when he's trying to let go, no, you never ever get to touch hands and come back close to your body. You never get to rejoin the pack. Like you're out. So he's here, right, he's got me. When he's trying to get his hand out, I'm gonna isolate that thing and I'm gonna now start manipulating it. No matter how, if he tucks it the other way, that's fine, but I'm still gonna bring this out. I'm never letting you rejoin the pack. Like that's it, like as I was wondering now, it's me a second now, that's it. It never gets a chance to rejoin the pack. Okay, so let's do this with our partners guys. Guillotine defense with the bottom flu choke with a pass. Really simple stuff, just move left. All right, ready, let's go. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. Don't forget to check out our website at thegrapplingacademy.com here. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you guys next time.